Welcome here, everybody. And today, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the reasons that I think added together make Forza Horizon 5 feel pretty empty. Now, initially, you look at this map and it looks like there's a lot of things to do. I've not even done a quarter of these events. So off a of first glance, you might think, how can it feel empty when there are so many events to do? And it's very simple with this page, actually. You see, there's actually only five different kinds of races in Forza Horizon 5. And of these races, lots of them are actually very similar. Road racing and street racing are almost identical, but one happens at night and with traffic, and the other is at daytime with no traffic. Dirt racing and cross country are also very similar, but dirt racing is off-roading on a specific off-road track, where cross country is off-roading not on a specific track. So when you boil it down, you really only have three different kinds of races. And those three races don't really vary as our map all looks relatively similar except for this lower section that is a lot greener than the rest of the map. So it's gonna be like you're doing the same race over and over again. Now for the next reason, I wanna hop over to the auction house. And the reason the auction house feels so empty to me is because of price locking. In Forza Horizon 4, if you had an incredibly rare car like the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, when you went to auction it, if none were appearing on the auction house, it would generally always sell for 20 million credits with very few exceptions. I think there were just a handful of cars that didn't sell for 20 million credits. In Forza Horizon 5, however, it seems like every single rare car that doesn't regularly appear on the auction house doesn't sell for 20 million credits. Like 231,000 credits for the rarest car in the game, who's gonna sell this? So when people have a car that they really want or they're looking for, when they go to the auction house and they're searching for it, it takes hours upon hours to get some of these cars, which really makes it feel like nobody's playing the game nobody's listing up these cars and it feels lonely it feels like you're one of the last people left on this game when in reality there are still thousands of people playing daily so this is a major thing for me that has made the game feel empty for no reason now this next one i think a lot of people are going to agree with and it's their new convoy system that they started where you have to create a convoy if you would like to play an online event with people such as this drag race. Because back in Horizon 4, if I wanted to race against random people, I would go over to a drag race and this PvP game mode would be open and I could start it up and it would invite all the players in the lobby. So at any point in time, you could just start a drag race and chances are someone would join in little to no time at all, if not more than one person, and you could test out your tunes against actual players. And with the convoy system in Horizon 4 or Horizon 5, to me, that just doesn't feel possible anymore. But let me know what you guys think about that. And now, finally, the biggest one, one of the biggest ones in my opinion, are the two DLCs that they have added to the game. Now I know there are some people that really, really like the off-roading rally adventure DLC and the Hot Wheels one. They pale in comparison to the DLCs in Horizon 4. This right here is the map of the Hot Wheels DLC, which isn't actually that big when you realize you can't drive on a majority of it. And this is the map for the Rally Adventure, which if it looks familiar, it might be because it looks almost identical to this portion of our already existing map. But in Horizon 4, the LEGO DLC, it was my favorite DLC in any game ever. It was a completely new map with new drag racing, new drift zones, a bunch of PR stunts, and people really played it. You could travel to that map and start up races and people would join them constantly. And don't even get me started on how good Fortune Island was. It gave us one of the best drift zones that had ever been in a Horizon game ever at any point in time. I could still go to Fortune Island right now, six years later, 
and I guarantee you there would be a few people drifting down it. But as for Horizons 5's DLCs, I have not opened them since they released and I made content on them. They just felt really empty and it makes me feel like I'm kind of just stuck to this part of the game, this exact map that was already a little lackluster to begin with. Now I don't mean to just rip on Horizon 5, I've had a lot of fun on the game, but a lot of that fun has come from mine and Gooseus and other creators own creativity. And their newest game mode they're about to add is being added after our idea of hide and seek. But those are my opinions on why I think Horizon 5 might feel empty, and I'm sure a lot of people probably agree with me. If you have reasons why you don't agree, feel free to leave them down below, and perhaps it can give some new life into the game and I can make a things to do in Horizon 5 video. As always, we'll see you boys in the next one. I'm out. Peace!